Hey, welcome back. Welcome We're gonna back. do this context sensitive button on Couch Arcade. I know the last episode was pretty much all cutscenes. Yeah, but hey, it's but we'll get into sometimes. we'll get into gameplay now. He's getting uh, he's getting some medicine. Looks like some sort of Alka Seltzer right. or something. Dude, what go. did he just take? Just what I need. He went from being like completely hungover to he is wide awake right now. Was that cocaine? Was he? Did he just take cocaine? No, dude. He had to pull out a glass of water and then he put something in it. It fizzed. Yeah. I'm thinking it's like some Alka Seltzer hangover oh, cure yeah, or something. Alka, you know. Yeah. Okay. Also, he's a talking fucking squirrel in a blue sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm thinking it's probably not that important. For whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, you can skip them, but you have to have watched them at least once. Oh, okay. So you can't Pretty skip them. Pretty much the standard for every. Like, and now look, he's going N64 quick. N64 game. You can jump, and he gets floaties. Isn't that so cute? It's adorable. Those just he gets he gets pop out of nowhere. He gets floaties, and then they fade away. Barely even oh, notice. Can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Yes. Lord. Let's go. Conquer, I am aware. Gotta watch it at least once, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. Z down, and I should crouch. Oh, oh. <laughs> the more is not like him. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was him. I should crouch more. More. To hey, jump to extra jump extra high. high more. More. Like, that's what I thought it was supposed to be. Like a kind of sinister. Nope. Kind of <laughs> It's do that funny helicopter tail thing. Huh, where have we seen that before? What? <laughs> the helicopter tail. Oh, yeah. You know? It's not like there's a fox in a certain game that does that, right? Yeah, but this is Conquer. <laughs> it's true. This and then conquer. you get to... And he only has one tail. So that's actually more impressive, I would say. He does only have one tail. Is he a squirrel? He's a squirrel. He's a squirrel? Okay. Yeah. Conquer the squirrel. I can't no, tell. I can't go in there yet. So I have to keep, keep moving forward. <laughs> Now, it's a little weird. I've been playing this on Rare Replay. That's that new game that just came out, right? Yeah, it's like a big Xbox collection of Rare Xbox games. One. Okay. Um, Battletoads. You can Battletoads, and, Battletoads and, at your local game stop. And Battletoads, uh, the arcade version is on there as well. Oh, wow. But it, you play, obviously you play that using the uh, Xbox controller. Sure. So it's... What is this? He's a gargoyle. You can think it. But he's blocking my path. I need to, I need him to go I need him to go away. Well, clearly. But he has his reasons for not. He only just got comfy. Oh, you ever sat on a piece of Gothic architecture for two hundred? I have not. You know, it's uncomfortable. The bridge seems like a better option for him. But he's also a big fat shit. So he doesn't want to move. <laughs> He, like, pause right in the middle of that, like, I don't know what to say, else, but I hate him. I don't like it. <laughs> There's not much to say. He's just in my path, and he's just being a dick for no reason. So he's I'm going to I'm I'm nice. teach him a lesson. I've been in a situation before where I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm comfortable. I'm not moving. You can deal with it. Yeah, but he should. He's on a bridge. A bridge is made for people for crossing, to, to, yeah. to go across. Sure. Okay. Okay, now here we go. Why does that thing just pucker up like that? What is that? It's a key. Are you supposed to capture it or what yeah, do you do? Yeah, okay. But he'll 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 you'll see. You'll see. See? Hang on. Something missing here. Okay. Didn't I have a ah try pressing B and see what that does. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Then you have a what? Here, now we will have all our uh, um, are you sure all our moves. That? Yes, we're sure that we've got that. Here we go. Now where'd he go? We're we're all set now? We're all Completely. set. Okay. I guess need to find the key now. Because this is. this is pretty great. Oh, oh okay. He gets a frying pan. Nice. Is that his only weapon, or yes? Apparently it is. Ha. Huh. Yep. And then I just take him over, and then I unlock the door, and then I go on with my life. Oh yeah. See, I'm not gonna hurt the key. I'm gonna use him for his exact purpose. <laughs> You're trying to be so civil about this, like, look, there's nothing bad going on here, but there's not. You know that there's something terrible going to happen sooner or later. Uh, Did you go backwards or? Yeah, I had to go back through that door that I couldn't go in before. I'm confused. I, I, I pulled went... a lever and then it opened the door. Right. So now that I have the frying pan, isn't this the same way that you originally came? Yeah, I have break. to get past the gargoyle, man. Oh, so then okay. I can just hit him with the oh. frying pan. He seemed not. He seemed not enjoy it. <laughs> ha! A frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. That's actually kind of funny. He's just like sitting there mocking it like a frying pan. What's the frying pan gonna do? Oh, ah! yeah. oh but look, I I did something. Wow. Wrong. So 
totally screwed that just up. Just non-stop. Bad. Um, it's bad fur, man. It's a yeah, bad, it's bad fur day. Just non-stop uh, obstacles for me. See, but here's context sensitive. I need to blow up the, the, the rock. So I'm <laughs> dynamite. You're having a real issue with talking to Nick sometimes. Boom. Look at that. Uh, yep. That fantastic. Uh. Uh, in case you're watching right now, we uh, we're putting out a uh, chicken fingers giveaway, and during during that recording of the, that video, um, I don't know if that's gonna be out before this. Well, it might be. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But I don't want to give away that we're doing a giveaway. Okay. Well, we can get. How about we can, we can say you can cut out where I said chicken fingers with. Um, we're giving away chicken fingers. You just put in chicken fingers. And. See now, this guy is going to see the Panther King about his milk problem. Okay. This is like the can the pan the wow. cancer the cancer. Wow! Pig. No, the Canther Pig. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. This, this is like the the Panther King's scientist fellow. Okay. You know. So yeah, during that professor, he's a professor. Video that we were recording. He has a degree. Joe is having trouble talking, so it seems to have carried over into this now. I have a job. That's all I was trying to say. Before. I have a job for you. A job for you, as you can see. The table. Is it missing a leg? It's is that missing the problem? a leg. Wow. Very simple problem. My goodness. But the solution will be quite complicated. <laughs> Spill the milk again. That's not good. That's not good. You know, you're doing voices, but they have their own voices. Well, okay. Sorry. A lot of. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't, normally don't be sorry. they don't. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be too long. <laughs> okay, I was first time I actually heard, listened, and heard his voice. <laughs> it's funny. I like him. He's an interesting cat. He doesn't want to have to get the duct tape out again. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, it's left up to your imagination. Obviously, he screwed something up in the past and got some sort of duct tape torture. Yeah. But I can be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. But wait, if it's rated M, why are they like cutting it's bad out? Man. But why are they cutting it well, out? Well, there's a certain level of you probably shouldn't say fuck on a Nintendo game. I mean, there's, Nintendo let this happen. Sure. So I mean, I'm sure they said, all right, there's a level that you can't. Oh my gosh. Just bleep out the F. So wait, hold on. We got the box here. Why is it rated M exactly? Does it, strong language. Yeah. Mature sexual themes and animated violence. All right. That's it's all. But these are all anthropomorphic animals. Like sure, but check this out. And now my health is chocolate bars. That's cool. See, that's a big problem. Oh, and you hurt yourself. <laughs> that's a big problem. <laughs> it's like, okay, I. That's one of my complaints with this game. Uh, is like trying to, uh, like trying to do, kind of like narrow platforming. Yeah. Doesn't work very well. It's some of the navigational stuff is it's, very much N64. Hurts. Yeah. Exactly. All and right. if you fall, you get falling damage. Now Enjoy here we are. Here's the nasty, nice sign. Does now it actually thing? take here you go. in a different direction? Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's what a queen. Here's a queen nasty, bee. Nasty, nasty wasps. Whatever shall, Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive is gone. Oh, she's rich. She ain't cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a little jerk. Yeah. So that uh, the beehive that we saw earlier. I am gonna go get it back now. Oh, okay. The one that was flying in the background. Yeah, yeah, the okay. hornet, the wasps right. or hornets, whatever. Just follow the signs. She called them nasty wasps. So, so if we follow the sign that says nasty. Oh, uh, okay. That's very creative. We can go that's, get it. That's, that's very creative gameplay right there. Because honest to God, I would not have picked up on that if I were playing really? through this. Not initially, no. It would have probably taken me a little bit. So you just go around? Yeah, I mean it's a clever game, and it's full of like parodies, like movie parodies and stuff. That's like funny. later on, there's a Matrix parody. Nice. Oh, here come the wasps. And there's like war, there's war, and there's all sorts of weird shit. Let's go get him. And the music is so freaking good. I like it. Yeah. Very, it's uh, it's just got a very nice little vibe to it. It's and it it's d does the same thing that you know Banjo Kazooie does, mm -hmm. where it, like the same tune will be playing, but it will change yeah, instrumentation change, and stuff exactly. depending on where you are. Yep. 
And it's really, it's just, it's so catchy. And here we go. Yes, Clearly success, you, you see? You know what you're doing. You did very well, you did not get hit once. What in the heck is, is it a tank? It's a freaking tank? Oh my gosh! Blow him away. Blow him right out of the sky. Do it right now. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. It's all it takes. Yeah. Do that one first. Why not? Mother buzzer. Eat lead. Nice. Very nice. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just body parts flying all over the place. Well, they're Holy more like God. wasp parts. No, they're, they're bodies. Still. Nice. Pretty cool, man. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Now, this is good. This is a very realistic game. Okay. Okay. Because the, the rewards you get for doing all this stuff in the game is something that I, we would want in the real world. Uh, as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Okay? What would we want in the real world? Money! All right. It's just cash, man. Nice. You just get a bunch of cash. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> we want some of the Dow. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cash prizes. Can't go wrong with that. Sweet. Well. So now we're free to like yeah, uh, go about it. Yeah. And we'll go about it when we come back. All right. We'll be back. Sweet. Boop. I haven't seen anything too shocking yet, though. That's the thing. Like, there hasn't been, aside from, like, him being trashed and, you know, the very strange duct. Okay! Okay! Never mind! What the heck? Oh my gosh! <laughs>